The most intriguing thing that the forthcoming second season of the Star Wars Disney Plus series Ander will bring about was disclosed by Genevieve O'Reilly. Lucasfilm was surprised by the success of Diego Luna's popular streaming series, which both fans and critics praised for its high caliber. In fact, Ander appeared to have received the most positive response of all the company's previous ventures. It was stated last summer, in advance of the first season, that while the first season's story took place over the course of a year, season two will cover a total of four years. It appears that at least one cast member is excited about the potential outcomes the temporal leaps may have. Exciting Season 2 Option for Ander Genevieve O'Reilly, who plays Mon Mothma on the television series Ander, discussed the major shift in the forthcoming second season in an interview with Playlist. The actress started up by pointing out how the show's creator initially had arcs for numerous more seasons of plot, but it's been compacted into a single one, which she dubbed a juggernaut. So, he definitely had arcs. He had an arc in regard to each year essentially what was happening. So that shifts and changes when you decide. And I think what they've done going into the second season is quite extraordinary, the way it allows for the piece to be almost like a juggernaut. She continued, pointing out how different the season 2 timeline is from season 1, using every three episodes to jump a year, and how this is super exciting and deeply compelling. And I think the excitement of using every three episodes to jump a year drives the piece and drives the narrative in a way that is super exciting and deeply compelling. And it's been interesting to be a part of last season and this season and see the difference. And in that storytelling, just in the structure of how you tell a story. She continued, pointing out how super exciting and deeply compelling it is for season two to be using every three episodes to jump a year, which is a significant departure from season one's timeline. And I believe that the thrill of utilizing every three episodes to leap a year drives the piece and drives the story in a manner that is tremendously thrilling and profoundly captivating. Being a part of both seasons and observing the differences has been intriguing. Simply in the way you tell a narrative, in that storytelling, etc. Obtaining all of the scripts in advance is really helpful and vital, according to O'Reilly, and getting the lines in the morning is really difficult. It's extraordinarily helpful and vital to have scripts to be able to carve and create and to be a collaborative creator within the piece. And many people do this brilliantly, but it is really difficult to chip away or to chisel at something when you're just getting in the morning, of filming. If you just get it in the morning, you have to use all your instincts, and you just have to go. The actress acknowledged that certain people are brilliant at acting more instinctually and without much forethought. And people are brilliant at that, and I love watching instinctual actors, but there is a great acknowledgement of craft if you're given the time or the space to absorb the story and to be a part of creating. The first season I think was slightly different because of COVID. We did get all the scripts. Season 2 has been a bit different, according to O'Reilly, although showrunner Tony Gilroy is a great collaborator and often spoke with the performers about their scenes. This season it's been a bit different, just because we haven't the time. Of course, it's all written, but it wasn't the same. But Tony, Gilroy, is a great collaborator and he's really interested in chatting. So, he would ring and we would chat through bits. And he's such an ear for words and for people and for connection and communication that when you then get the script and you see what he has created, it's all there, there's nothing to do after that. It's quite a unique experience to get scripts that are so beautifully written and that hold such a breadth of story. The Effects of Consistent Time Jumps The four years between the events of Ander Season 1 and Star Wars, Rogue One are filled with a lot of activity. While the first season of Ander took its time presenting the tale, it's difficult to envision the second season being anything other than jam-packed with interesting content and exciting events. Fans may anticipate a more dangerous and heartbreaking plotline for Genevieve O'Reilly's character Mon Mothma. It's possible that viewers may see the horrible Gorman massacre, 
which prompted the senator to openly criticize Emperor Palpatine. The return of Andy Serkis Kino Loy, who many fans believed perished in the first batch of episodes, will be another aspect of season two. Despite the fact that it's unclear what he'll be doing, the actor joked that the character is in quite a lonely place. Additionally, viewers should be prepared to learn how Cash and Ander first encountered K2SO, a robot that regretfully wasn't featured in Season 1, but was replaced by other droids of the same model. Later next year, Ander Season 2 will be available on Disney+.